Желаю здоровья, шановные украинцы. Good health to you, fellow Ukrainians. I signed a decree awarding the order of merit of the first decree to Maria Vezovska, a Ukrainian mathematician who became a laureate of the Fields Medal this year. This is a very important and prestigious award that is called the Nobel Prize in Mathematics. Ukrainian Mrs. Vezovska became the second woman in the entire history of the award since 1936 to win this medal. She managed to solve the problem of packing spheres in eight-dimensional space. As scientists note, Marina Vezovska offered very powerful ideas and helped solve related problems. I want to thank Mrs. Marina, not only for her work, for a very powerful mathematical result, but also for the fact that she helps all of us, all Ukrainians, protect our freedom and independence, in particular during the ceremony of awarding the Fields Medal at the International Congress of Mathematicians. In her speech, Mrs. Marina spoke about Ukraine, about Russia's war against our country, about the crimes of the Russian occupiers. Mrs. Marina studied in Ukraine, in Kyiv. She works in Switzerland, in Lausanne, heads the Department of Numbers theory. And I believe that the day will come when Marina Vyazovska will be able to return to Ukraine to teach here. I took part in the work of the Asian Leadership Conference, which takes place every year in Seoul, the capital of the Republic of Korea. This is one of those platforms that attracts the attention of the entire region. And it is important for Ukraine that our interests and values are heard and perceived in all parts of the world, especially in the leading countries of Asia. I thank them for their support and called for more active opposition to Russian terror tactics. And what an evil irony! On July the 13th, the representatives of the occupation structures in Donetsk announced that they were, as they say, recognized by the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Of course, we will react in a very tough manner at all levels. But this is the news that does not even need additional comments. Everything is obvious. The path we are taking and the path the occupiers can lead to. Debris clearance continues after the Russian attack on the city of Chasivyar. As of this time, the list of the dead includes 48 people, including one child. Unfortunately, the number of those rescued has not changed. Nine people. Rescuers will work on site until all debris is cleared. It was one of the most brutal Russian strikes during the entire war. So many victims. My condolences to the relatives and friends of the victims. I am preparing to address the participants of the forum in The Hague, in the Netherlands, which will be held on July the 14th and dedicated to the prosecution of Russian war criminals. Bold democracies are willing to do everything necessary to make every Russian terrorist responsible for evil against Ukrainians. And we must coordinate our efforts in such a way that all the guilty receive fair sentences. There will be a tribunal. On July the 13th in the news there were many references to the meeting in Turkey regarding the unblocking of agricultural experts from our country through the Black Sea. We are indeed making significant efforts to restore the supply of food to the world market. And I am grateful to the United Nations and Turkey for their respective efforts. The success of this story is needed not only by our state, but also without exaggeration by the whole world. If we manage to remove the Russian threat to navigation in the Black Sea, it will remove the severity of the world food crisis. The Ukrainian delegation informed me that there is some progress. We will agree on the details with the UN Secretary General in the coming days. In the evening, as usual, I signed a decree awarding our warriors. 136 combatants were awarded state awards, 25 of them posthumously. Eternal memory to all those who gave their lives for Ukraine. Eternal gratitude to everyone who protects our country. Glory to Ukraine!